Hello, how is everybody doing today? This is Mickey. Well, last week I put out a video about color grading in Lightroom and I had a photograph. It was a black white gradient photograph that I used to demonstrate tonality changes in Lightroom. And I got a lot of responses that other people wanted this photograph and asked for a copy. And I was just about ready to send it out, but I thought, no, this could be another learning video, a short one, but something that you know you can do on your own and, and make this whenever you need it. So that's what we're going to cover today. To start out with, we're going to be in Adobe Photoshop and we're going to go to File and create a new photograph or a new image. And I'm going to use the default uh, Photoshop size, but if you create your own and you want it to be either in portrait like this or in landscape, it's up to you. You just choose whichever orientation you want and we hit create. And here is our blank screen. The next thing we want to do is create gradient. And if you go down the taskbar here, you'll see the gradient tool, which is this tool right here. Click on it, and that will bring you to the gradient tool. Now you can also get there with shortcuts by hitting the G key. When you hit the G key, it'll bring up the gradient tool. If you do not see the gradient tool in this toolbar, and it should be there, but there might be a case you got ruined by accident or for some reason it doesn't show up, just go to these three dots and click on them. Hold your mouse button down and choose Edit Toolbar. And in this uh, customized toolbar screen, you'll see all the tools you have available to you on the left-hand side of your Photoshop screen. And if you don't see the gradient tool, it might be over here. And these are the tools that are kind of a, in the dugout waiting to play in the game. Uh, and you would just find the gradient tool. And let's say if this was gradient, you just click on it and you drag it over to where you want. And that will add it to the toolbar over here. So that's how you find it if you don't have it. Now back to the gradient tool, we'll hit the G key, and that brings us to the gradient tool. Let me just pop in here real quick. Once you choose the gradient tool, look at the very left hand corner here and make sure it says gradient and make sure you have this gradient here, black to white. If you don't see that in there, click on the down arrow, choose basics and choose the very basic one right here and then click away and make sure that we have this gradient in place. And we're just going to put our little cross here on the edge, hold our mouse button down and drag. And as we drag across, we bring our gradient. Now you want to leave a little solid white on the end of the gradient. So we have solid white on the right and solid black on the left. You have a tool here and that changes the feather. You could make the feather uh, more harsh on the mid-tone light side or harsh on the dark side. My advice is just to keep it in the center. If you want less black, just grab your black side here and drag that out. You can see you bring more black and keep more gray in there. So we have a little bit of black and a little bit of white. And you can decrease the amount of white by doing this. But we do want to keep some little white in. Once you have the gradient exactly like you want with black and white and the amount of feather of gray in the center, you want to go up to File, Save a Copy, and just name it what you want. We'll say black, white gradient and you want to choose I do I choose it as a JPEG then you just save it in the location that you want I'll keep it about 10 for JPEG options and then what you want to do is just go ahead and import it into Lightroom so you can use it in Lightroom and here's a copy of it right here already imported and once you get it in there start playing around with like your basics see what your exposure does see how it affects or highlights, shadows, you know, whites and blacks. Uh, you can go to your tone curve and see how the tone curve works. This is a great a tool. And if you can see what it's doing to your tonality in your image, this gradient image is a really good place. And of course, color grading. Uh, we can do our midtones and our highlights and our shadows and see how that works. In any case, that's how you build this tool, and these are some of the things you can test and play around with it just to see what your basic panel and other panels do in Lightroom. I hope this helps out. If anybody has any questions or needs help with anything further, be sure to drop me a note. I'll do whatever I can to help you. I'll talk to you guys soon.